Hi, this is Daniel from Plantoflas. I just wanted to show you how I'm growing my mint and also my basil plant hydroponically. I'm using a ebb and flow system here. So it's a way of hydroponically growing these plants. Basically the hydroponic system is a, an ebb and flow as I mentioned. Uh, I have a water pump here in the uh, bottom and this is also where the water sits. I have around 50 liters of uh, water and uh, the water is just circulating to the top of this uh, ebb and flow system and then it will be drained again back into the bottom container. The cycle I'm using is I'm flooding the, uh, the top four times a day. So at 6 a.m., at 10 a.m., then 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. So four times a day, these plants are actually watered. And of course, what you also need for a hydroponic system is a uh, nutrient solution. I'm using the tripart uh, Flora Grow and also the um, hard water uh, macro for, uh, for hard water. So I'm using these two from uh, tripart. And uh, of course you also need a uh, adjusted pH level. The water I have here is really, really hard. So I have to use a pH down. I'm using here advanced hydroponics of Holland pH down and I mix everything together. So the water is perfect for the uh, basil and mint plant. In terms of pH, I'm aiming for a pH level between 6 and 7.5. Uh, as I said, I usually have a pH of 8 and then I just use pH uh, down. If I'm using too much pH down, if the pH is too low, I just add some more hard water and it adjusts it itself. So usually you either need uh, a pH up or pH down. You don't need both, but of course you can uh, buy both uh, because you can quicker adjust the pH level. Then in terms of uh, nutrients, you need to make sure that your nutrient concentration in the water is neither too high or too low. For this, I'm using a EC meter and I can just read the uh, EC values here of, of this uh, meter. I'm aiming for an EC level between 0 0.8 and 1.2. Uh, let's uh, just have a look how it is uh, right now. It's probably too high, but let's see. Oh no, so it's um, even a bit lower than I wanted. It's uh, between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. That means I can just add more of uh, these uh, nutrients. I'm using the uh, grow and also some uh, micro uh, macronutrients as well as I mentioned. So I'm using an EC meter to just constantly check that. You need to check it every day. Like one, if you put it in first, like the level might not be accurate. It changes quite a lot. You almost have to check every day whether you need more nutrients or not. Then um, I'm using a pH meter as well, just make sure when you get the pH meter that you first calibrate it with the uh, solutions you get with the pH meter and then you can just use it to test. Let's see uh, what the pH of this system or of this water is at the moment. So it's still moving, it's still fluctuating, but it's um, currently around 7.5. So um, this is really at the uh, upper uh, level. As I mentioned, I want to have a, a pH between probably 6 and 7.5 uh, max. I could use a little bit of a pH down to just lower the pH level. The white things uh, that you see, like actually the ebb and flow system came damaged and I fixed it. Uh, so there's no water flowing out of the system. That's why this uh, looks a little bit off. I have here a uh, beautiful basil plant. These are actually top cuttings from the big basil I have uh, right there because this uh, basil plant was in soil and I now want to use it hydroponically. I rooted them and uh, put them right in and a couple of these already rooted in, uh, in soil and I just transferred them to uh, Lekka. So Lekka are these uh, clay balls. They're perfect for hydroponic growing. You just need to make sure that you get rid of all the soil before you put it in the system because you don't want to have any soil in the water because this can cause root rot. And then I also have a mint plant right here. I was just digging that up. I have that in my garden, in my indoor garden right there. And I just added it to my hydroponic system and I really hope I can get a great mint harvest like that. So I also added 
some plastic containers on top. I'm just going to show you because uh, like this, I'm able to increase the uh, humidity a bit, especially in the beginning when everything starts to root into uh, the leca. It might help uh, the plants because in the beginning they don't get so much water from the hydroponic system because they don't have uh, that many roots in the, uh, the leca. So I really hope the additional humidity helps them to root faster and keep their leaves on. Yeah, that's basically it. In terms of, of water cycle, as I mentioned, I'm doing it four times a day for about five minutes. You really have to test how long you need to uh, flood the, um, the upper container because the more plants you have in and the more media you have in, uh, the shorter it will take uh, until it's completely full. It cannot overflow almost because you have um, the second wolf like right here because the, if the water level reaches to here, it will make sure that the water is uh, draining again to the bottom container. So these systems are really, really good. I exchange the water like every three or four weeks, but basically if it looks good, if you have it uh, covered, like if there's, if there's no sunlight, you almost have no algae um, building, which is great. And you also could use a air bubbler and air stone. So, and this will help the roots uh, to grow strong and the water quality will stay even better. So that's it about my uh, basil and mint plant in hydroponics. If you like this video, please actually give it a like and also uh, follow our channel. This was Daniel from Plantophiles. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon.